guys, welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs. We're motoring along with the previews now. Today it's uh, the turn of Bohemian FC and obviously Daz Hartness with us in this. I don't know if it's 2000 to 2001, 2 or 3 Bowles jersey. Uh, the old baggy ones. I'm not sure if he's got Glenn Crow in the back. Have you got Glenn Crow in the back, Daz? No, I don't this time, unfortunately. I wish I did. It would be really cool, but this is probably one of my favourite Bowles jerseys, if not my favourite one. It's a really special one. It's it's really old and I got very lucky picking it up on Ryan there about a year or two. But yeah, I know I love it. I've seen a lot of people looking for a jersey like this, so I'm very lucky to have it. <laughs> yeah, I remember well, actually, to be fair. Now we'll just go through some of the Bohemians or all of their players that they brought in um, and you can pick out maybe the three that excite you the most. So they brought in Chris Twardek, who was obviously at the club initially um, before he went moved abroad a couple of seasons ago. Junior from Dundalk. Um, people might know more from Derry, to be fair. Max Murphy from Shamrock Rovers is a fullback. Ty Ryan from Tracy United, goalkeeper. Jordan Doherty, young midfielder, Tampa Bay Rowdies. Uh, Grant Horton from Cheltenham on loan. He's a defender. Ryan Cassidy from Watford on loan. He's a uh, striker. And JJ McKiernan from Watford also on loan. He's an attacking midfielder. And they also brought in Jordan Flores from Northampton Town. Um. Those players they brought in, there are some good players there, to be fair. But which three would you pick out as maybe the key signings or the signings that excite you the most out of those? Yeah, look, look, there's a few very good signings there, like really good ones. And I'm very happy that we brought like Swadek back. Like, you know, we got the opportunity. We brought him yeah. back and he'll hopefully have a full season this time to actually show what he can do in a full season. The last time was a COVID season. It was a half season, if you will. Like, he actually left before yeah. he finished. But um, I think for me, It'd be Twarek, Jr. and Cassidy, I think, would be the standout ones for me. Cassidy's obviously a very exciting young striker. He's got a lot of goals underage for Watford. Can he do that at a senior level would be another question. Um, Junior has been around the league. He's young but experienced throughout the league. Um, people obviously know what he's about. Could be deployed as a striker or a winger of the season or a half midfielder. Very yeah. interesting. I'm very happy we got him. And obviously Twarek, like I said, like, you know, a Canadian... I was a Canadian international and I'm really excited to see him back. Um, obviously came back from Poland, went to a team in Poland, so um, yeah, he's back. But the other three for me that stand out, I think the other ones keep me brought in there more or less kind of unknown to a degree. Um, obviously, Ryan will be known from three. Um, interesting move for him on the personal level, good move to Bose, but he's not going to be starting, obviously. Um, the likes of them, Doherty, you know, Murphy, Flores, I hope he's not under their um, Harry, there's a lot of people thinking that I really hope he isn't. I don't think he will be, but he's definitely someone too to look at. And then, um, yeah. yeah, so that's just interesting to see what who we got there. So let's look at the players that left the club quickly: Keith Ward, Anto Breson, Rob Cornwall, Keith Buckley, Stephen McGuinness, Ross Tierney, Jack Moylan, Bastian Harry, Andy Lyons, Georgia Kelly, and Roland Idawu. Are both weaker? I named him actually the start. Are both weaker? <laughs> <laughs> are balls weaker or stronger in your opinion does this year do you think weaker Um, I definitely think yeah. it's weaker I don't really think it's I don't even think I have to think about that I think we are weaker losing two really good fullbacks never helps Um, I think people as well need to realise we were never going to replace Ross Tierney or George Kelly with a like for like player in our league it's just not going to happen when you have a player of their calibre and leave you're not going to go out and spend money and buy someone it's kind of more luck if someone comes in and fits in the system or can do something different. The yeah. massive blow of all rounds. Uh, I just think, you know, they're really big losses. Even the likes of Jack Milan for me, I thought was a big loss. I was really hoping he'd be stepping up and starting this season. He's gone. Obviously, yeah. Keith Buckley, a club legend, club captain, gone as well. Uh, even McGuinness, a sub goalie, was did very well when he came in. Gone as well. Keith Ward, bag of experience. Also gone. Very hard to replace experienced players, let alone really stand up players like Kelly, Tierney, Linesy, all them lads. And then we brought in lesser experienced players, like as I said, Murphy, Darty, all them lads, which I hope will really, really will step up and do something. But they're vastly inexperienced players we brought in to ex to replace very mm. experienced players. So I think you know I'm, that's something that should be looked at. I think as well, and by everyone at the club as well. I think you know. We can't really be expecting, we can't really put too much pressure on this group of players to start because they're so young and inexperienced. Like the, the, the boots that they have to fill of these players that went out is something else, I think. Yeah, no, you hit the nail on the head there with the experience and that. I mean, they didn't have an awful lot of experience last year. 
and they've lost the experience they've had and haven't really replaced that experience. But I suppose that the positivity is two players I like to talk about quickly. And one is Mullins, obviously coming through, played decent amount of games last year. He'll be expected to fit in to the void that, say, Tierney left now. I'm not going to say he's going to be as good as Tierney, but he definitely is the next generation up of Bowles young talent coming through. Um, he, he could be a good player there and he is a good player. But also promise up front. Um, whenever I see him play, even in the early stages of seeing him play, I've seen the rawness of him. There's something in him that I like. He's got a bit of power, got a bit of pace, does have an eye for a goal. I think personally, I don't know what you're doing, I think it could be a big season for those two players, for Bohemians, and they'll need something like that this season, you know? I think, firstly, I'm very happy that we kept hold of them two players. They were two players I think could have easily went to anyone in the league or abroad. They really could have. Next season, maybe, um, to be honest with you. Yeah, it, absolutely. Like I think Promise really came into himself towards in last season. He just kept getting better at game by game. He just got really stuck in and he dug in deep when we needed him the most and he came up with a few goals, a few assists, strength, power, determination. Everything you want in an old-fashioned boss player, I think Promise has. You know, he really brings that in. And then, you know, the other kid coming through, he's, he's only gone 17 and was 17 now a few months ago. You know, he got a few goals he got a very good goal against Longford at that time and he's so young as well he could have easily have went abroad but he did stay and I'm very happy he did stay and you're right he could be coming on to games now to try and play the Ross Tierney role and try and mould himself to, to be the next Ross Tierney which I, I hope and fully believe he will be I think he's got so much talent it's very raw but I think he's got something about his game and I think he's going to be a really standout talent this season for us. A very young one, obviously, but very excited that he's still here. I think it's going to be a big season for him too. Very important as well that kept Austin Devoy for the time being, particularly with Tierney going, I think. So, very know, important. Yeah, yeah like, you're, probably, you're probably right, actually. Their squad is probably weaker overall, but still, still some very good players there, as I mentioned, Austin there, you know. I tell you one thing, Keith, one area that worries me a little bit is the centre-back position. I, I think we're going to be weak there this season. and we, Well, we have been weak the last few seasons, but I think we're going to be pretty weak there this season. And that's a bit worrying for me, I think. I mean, if you don't have the likes of Keith Buckley sitting in front of him this time either, it's going to be a different ball game. It's going to be different how we set up. Um, yeah, and we have been really able to watch pre-season games. I don't really know how we've been playing, how we've been setting up, bar, live score, um, highlights, um, watching the team lineups. It's disappointing that we couldn't see the team play in pre-season, even just watch it on the stream like last season. Yeah. So I don't know how we're going to really set up. This could go anyway. It could be a different formation. It could be a new balls. It could be better. It could be worse. It's really hard to know. Do you think balls are going to add any more players? And if not, do you think they should? Positions I definitely, think, I definitely think we should. I think I think we should keep. We definitely should. I, I think positions we can prove. You know, I, I was watching Philly's video earlier, and he was saying, "Oh, we're, we're spoiled for choice," and he's trying to go. Oh, we could go here. We could go there. Whereas you look at balls, I think we could improve all around the pitch. I think the only one that's really solid for me are wingers and the goalkeeper. I think every other position we could bring someone in potentially, and I'm not even saying bring someone in for the crack. I mean, someone could come in and start yeah. and. That's the reality of it. I think a good, a really good experienced centre back is something we need, and it's going to be hard to get. They're going to have to pay money for someone, which I don't think they will. Um, we have money in the bank. The club's not going to spend it. We all know that it's sitting there. It's not going to be used. It's disappointing as a fan, but they're not going to spend it, and it's going to be a downfall. And, and I hope this season isn't going to be worse than last season. Last season was poor. Yes, we got to the cup final. We finished fifth. I could be saying a different thing here, Key. If we finish fifth and got in Europe, it would be a completely different scenario, really. But it's not. We finished mid table last season. And I, in my opinion, we have a lesser team this season than last yeah. season. I'm not taking anything away from the players we have. I hope they step up and you know do what's really good and outperform the team last season. That has to be their goal. Yeah, in my, my, my head ball was actually Daz there. We're not going too deep into other teams, so I don't want to do that. But other teams look like they might be a little bit weaker as well. So it doesn't necessarily mean the balls are going to finish, say, lower necessarily. You might have different views on that, though. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Um, that is true what you're saying, but I really think we missed a trick this season investing in the team. Um, not to go into too much detail about it, but I think now is the perfect time to invest. Not even going full time, but just invest like a record amount of season decoders, record amount of members, a new stadium on the way. It was the time to invest, I think. I believe it was. 
um, I, we didn't. And I really hope the fans that invested this season stay for next season, no matter how bad or how good this season might be. I'm being optimistic. I think, you know, hopefully we do have a good season and we do finish deservedly where we should finish, depending on how we play. But this was a season to invest in. Just looking at the players we brought in, it's not feeling me exactly with confidence um, than the players we could have brought in. Again, I don't want to take it away from these players. They're young players, they're raw. And we've often brought in players we never heard of. They really shun out and really did something for us. And I really hope that they do. And I really think they will. Keith Long has got an eye for a player. Everyone knows that. He's brought in a few players before they got released a few months later. And I hope that doesn't happen because a few of them are very inexperienced. But, you know, he's brought in some good players too. And I do think we'll bring in one or two more. But I think we're leaving it very late, Keith. You know, the season starting in two weeks. You'd imagine you have your squad together now and play two or three more pre-season games and have your team playing how you want them to play it and thinking, God, we could bring in two or three more now. Like, bring them in now, get them signed, get them get game time, get minutes under the belt, get the team together. I think we should really be looking at bringing in another striker. Um, Again, look, I'm not even going to think about replacing George Kelly. That's not going to happen. The top league goal scorer, you know, you're not going to really replace them. I like for like player, but, you know, we've, we've got Cassidy, who I'm proven at this level, and we've got Junior, who's probably going to be deployed as a striker, I think, this season. Um, good options, but I don't really know too much about Cassidy. I haven't really exactly seen them play. But then, if he can't really step up, you're relying on Junior, who's not necessarily an out-and-out striker. So, I think that's a cause of concern for me. Obviously, the centre-backs, again, like I said, and maybe an experienced all-round midfielder. What's a successful season for Bowles, do you think, based on all that? Well, a dream keep would be finishing in Europe, but I'm not going to go that far. Um, you think they have a chance, um, though? We always have a chance. Can they make top four? Is there a chance? Is there a chance, in your opinion, that Bowles can make top four? Yeah, absolutely. There's a hundred percent guarantee. There is a chance we could make top four. Definitely, is I'd never rule that out. Especially with Keith Long, Trevor Carney, and charge. A few we have a few really good players still at the club. You know, they've got a good back in fans are back this season again. I think, you know, that there is a makings of a very good team there and more players to come in. It's definitely achievable, but I think, you know, being realistic with your head screwed on, kind of thinking about with not thinking with your heart, thinking, you know, with your head. I think we're gonna finish fifth. Um, that's where I would pin us to finish. That's where I, I think we will finish. I think anything else is a bonus. And hopefully then I know I'm talking really far away, but next season. And I'm sick of saying this, but we hold on to our better players, the ones maybe they're not good enough for England, but good for the league. Keep them, build on it, and try and push again for next season to follow on after that. But in terms of this season, look, I'd love to finish top four. Who wouldn't? And it is achievable, but I, I, th- I just think with the players that we lost, the experience that we lost, like Kelly, Wardy, Lyons, Tierney, Milan, Heary, oh, Heary, <laughs> Buckley, Breslin, there's so many players lost there. Then you're looking at Murphy, Doherty, Flores, Ryan, Cassidy, you know, it's different. It's a different team, inexperienced team. And, you know, we're, we're relying on them heavily to do something this season. And there's a lot of pressure on them, I think. So taking all of that into consideration, I think we'll finish fifth. But a successful season will be fourth or higher for me. Great really stuff, Daz. We'll leave it there. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Where are Bohemians going to finish this season? Can they make a push for Europe? Can they go one step further to the FAI Cup? Who knows? And uh, like the video, subscribe, and what else? What else, Daz? Hit your bed notification button. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Brilliant, Daz. Thank you.